I've just started trying to be a dom for my beautiful wife. And she tells me I keep getting hung up on the sex side of being a dominant. And I feel like I'm doing it right. I do get non-sexual pleasure from the experience. My question is how to keep from getting hung up on that. I'm still very new at this lifestyle and I feel like I keep getting this snag. Yes, I think I think that um, there are a few insights that I want, I want to pull out right off the bat. The first one is I don't think he's even understanding what his wife is trying to communicate. And here's why. She, and you guys tell me if you agree with this or not, but to me, how I read this, especially if she's telling him she's more experienced, he's the new dominant, and she's telling him, hey, honey, you're getting a little too wrapped up in the sex side of domination. To me, that's her way of saying, hey, I want more DS interaction with you in a non-sexual way throughout the rest of our dynamic. I just want to feel that energy. I want to feel that connection outside of it being sexual. That's what I'm hearing. That's how I'm interpreting it. But did you catch his interpretation? When I feel I'm doing it right, I do get non-sexual pleasure from the experience. He took that and put it on him and went, oh, so I shouldn't want sexual release or it shouldn't be sexual, but I do feel non-sexual arousal and I feel like I'm doing it right you understand what I'm saying? I, I think there. I think even the presence of this question is proof of the fact that these two are really miscommunicating. Anyone else picking up on that? So, with that in mind, I'm going to kind of speak with <laughs> with that insight in mind and go a little slow and get a little remedial. Okay. So, for those of you very seasoned sadists, just Hang tight with me, all right? So we avoid where we feel like an imposter. We avoid when we feel like a fake, essentially. When we feel like a fake, when we feel like we don't belong here, when we feel like we don't know what we're doing, when we don't feel confident, when we feel like an imposter, we avoid. The same thing that was happening earlier when we were talking to Gio, our friend Gio, is we feel, we feel new to this. We don't really know what we're doing. We don't have that confidence built up yet. And so we're going to avoid. This is just, it's intimidating. And I already feel inadequate or like an imposter. I don't have confidence. So I'm just going to avoid. That is what I'm picking up intuitively here. I think our friend here, the new Dom, is gravitating to sexual manifestations of dominance because he's had a sexual relationship with his wife. It's not new to him. Therefore, a, therefore sexual domination is an area where he feels somewhat confident to start out with. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking that he's, he's fixed in this because he says, I feel like I keep hitting this snag. I think, my friend, if you're watching this back later, you're hitting this snag because you're gravitating to an area where you naturally feel comfortable because we tend to avoid where we don't feel confident. When we feel like a fake, we avoid. When we feel like an imposter, we avoid. So. A couple of things that I would like you to do here is number one, I have a playlist here on YouTube, my friend, Dominance 101. It's got a ton of videos, and it would be highly helpful for you to just sit through, scroll through, see what like hits your radar and where you have questions and whatnot. And start there on my Dominance uh, 101 playlist. Additionally, I have two likely more videos on specifically on soft domination. I think you will start understanding your options energetically and relationally when you start watching those videos. So check out my Dominance 101 playlist. Check out the soft domination videos specifically. I also have on my Patreon, I've got a ton of content, downloads, whatnot for submissive training, things like that would be great for you to start down that path. Maybe your wife can give you a better idea of what she's specifically craving or looking for non-sexually. So that can get you kind of moving in the right direction. But additionally, on Patreon, I have a resource called the D 
my dominant communication guide. And in this guide that corresponds with some videos that I also did, I took excerpts from my erotica, my BDSM erotica, which you can purchase on Amazon. I've got three books of uh, BDSM erotica on Amazon, Red Room Diaries 1, 2, and 3. And in this uh, Patreon content, I went through those books and went through those stories and pulled out tangible examples of how to seduce, how to communicate, how to build a scene, how to engage as a dominant in a non-sexual way. It's tangible. And I think you reading that through and then getting my commentary on what was actually going on in that moment would be very, very helpful for you. So patreon.com slash LX Erotica, you can get access to all of that. And then I would also say, start, um, start with building rituals and protocols into your daily dynamic. Now, I don't know if your wife wants a 24-7 dynamic or she just wants to feel dominated additionally in a non-sexual way. So I'm, I'm not sure there. You too will have to negotiate that. But whatever it is, rituals and protocols will probably be appealing to her. Additionally, I want you to ask yourself a few questions. So really, again, we're, I'm, I want to get your brain outside of this domination equals sex or domination equals sexual. Uh, oftentimes it does highly erotic, highly sexual, but these are some questions that I want you to ask yourself as you consider expanding out of that a bit. The first one, how can you hold your wife energetically without sex? Without sex, how can you hold your wife energetically? Number two, how can you lead your wife in the way she needs and desires? How can you lead your wife in the way she needs and desires? Okay. Third one, in what non-sexual ways can you assert your dominance? In what non-sexual ways can you assert your dominance? So again, the three questions that I want you to ask yourself how can you hold your wife energetically without sex? How can you lead your wife or guide your wife in the ways that she needs and desires? And in what non-sexual ways can you assert your dominance? Okay, so that is my advice. Uh, check out that playlist and those videos, that specific piece of uh, content on Patreon, the dub, the dom, hello, dom communication guide. And then start implementing rituals and protocols as you both negotiate and see fit for your dynamic. And then ask yourself those three questions. How can you hold your wife energetically without sex? How can you lead your wife in the way she needs and desires? And in what non-sexual ways can you assert your dominance?